Well, a very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much indeed for coming through. A lot has really happened over the past uh, two days or so. And we've had President Cyril Ramaphosa really commending the forum. And one would imagine this, of course, is because it speaks directly to his investment drive for South Africa. Well, Palisa, it doesn't only speak directly to his investment drive. I think it also speaks to his attitude. And many of the business people here, many of them renowned, have actually commended the presidents, the heads of state, the heads of government who are here for being a different, for being states of, uh, heads of state who are able to engage business, for being heads of state who see their countries as businesses and for seeing themselves as CEOs of those businesses. But, of course, the main thing that needs to change, according to the business leaders, is the attitude not only of the governments but of the people uh, by holding the leaders accountable and by participating but one of the areas that are seen as key in the participation to ensure that Africa develops is science and technology and later on this afternoon there is a specific session that will deal with that here to talk to me is a minister of science and technology Mamuluko Ngubani. thank you very much for making the time to talk to us what do you hope to get out of this um, what we're hoping to get out of this um, is more investment into the African continent so that we can encourage young people to continue more to be able to be innovative because most of them are innovative. They bring innovative ideas, they bring solutions to certain problems, but they can't commercialize their project products. So we're looking for investors who can come in and say we'll invest in your projects with on your projects and products so that you can grow them. And in that we will be able to create new jobs, we'll be able to create new manufacturing companies, we'll be able to create new sectors. And we think science and technology becomes the center of economic development for the future. Now, Moluka, but we need to talk specifics now because yes. the presidents of the countries and of the banks have said that this is a transactional forum. This is where we're closing deals. Now, if we can start for the next minute or so and list the products that come quickly to your mind that you think money should go to. Um, yes, indeed. That's what we did even with the uh, South African summit. We have young people who came in and who have literally have received investment. I received quite a number of letters. We'll share, obviously, with the public once they have closed those deals, but they're currently engaging, signing agreements to be able to make the deals. What I'm looking for for the African investment is to have investment on the hydrogen fuel cell. This is one of the products done in South Africa. It will not only be able to produce and provide electricity in houses, we're building buses using the hydrogen fuel cells batteries. So we're looking for investment. HISA as an institution for, with us in South Africa, we are looking for investment and there are people who are engaging to close the deals when we are here. The second area is around titanium and also um, additive manufacturing, where we are looking for people who can come Come and invest in our areas where we are producing 3D printers, printing prototype products, where our innovators are saying this is what we can produce. One of the areas we have a product that we produce in CSIR for the um, air buses. So we're looking for those who want to invest in the airspace that we have technologies that have been developed in South Africa that goes as components of the air buses and therefore we're looking for investors in that area. We're also talking about the biodiversity uh, center that we have developed. We're looking for investors into that because we want to give that technology to entrepreneurs, but many of the entrepreneurs who are available and ready to take up that in terms of environment, um, this is where we're taking waste and producing products. For example, you take feathers, chicken feathers, you produce things like napkins, things like shampoos. We have such facilities, we have technologies, but we're looking for investors to invest so that our black industrialists can flourish. Now, one of the areas that uh, was spoken about yesterday is the area of energy, and it taps a little bit into science and technology, because when we talk about renewable energy, if we talk about hydro, if we talk about solar, these are areas that require uh, your area of science and technology. Are you talking to uh, the people who are in that space as well? Definitely. Hence, I made the hydrogen fuel cell 
is one of the areas. What happens with that? We're utilizing platinum to be able to produce electricity. So as, as, a, as a beneficiation of platinum. So that is one of the clean energies that we are using. More in technologies, we are engaging everybody, obviously in partnership with the Department of Energy. The Deputy Minister is here as well, Tembi Majola. So we've been working together to make sure that when the investors are looking, if you listen to the um, African Development Bank uh, president when he spoke this morning, he spoke about energy sector as one of the critical areas that we can help to be able to draw. So there are projects that African Development Bank is looking at. We are as South Africa not only at other looking at other investors, but we're looking at what is available at the African Development Bank. Because they specifically said they're looking for women. So we are looking for South African women who are in business. I know a couple of them will be going out to look for many of them to support them and say this is what is available at the African Bank. Thank you very much. Mamuluko Kubai Ngubani is the Minister of Science and Technology. She is here to present, as you've heard, a list of projects. But that's not the end because uh, there are synergies between energy, between science and technology and other areas that are being discussed here at the inaugural Africa Investment Forum. And of course, these discussions will be continuing for another day and a half. And uh, later on this afternoon, we will go back to her and ask her how many deals she got to sign because we understand that 305 deals costing more than 200 and billion US dollars are expected expected to be signed at this investment forum. Back to you in studio. All right, many thanks there to our reporter Ntakwana Ngadana reporting live from the Sentin Convention Center and the Minister of Science and Technology, Mamuluko Kubai Ngubani, is scheduled to speak at the summit and as soon as that happens, we'll take you live to the summit. <music>